You know, sometimes you have a plan and it sounds really good in your head and then you go and execute it and it just, it, 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 it's, it's terrible. This was, this was not a good, good idea. I thought I would be able to set up a filter system for this using the hopper line and it is just not fast enough for this farm. Not fast enough at all. So I need to tear this all down and redo it with some slime block pushers and ice ice streams and that sort of thing make it work a whole lot faster I also need to make it bigger it needs to be much bigger than this because there's a lot of stuff that comes through here but I was able to get some villagers in here as a fish disposal system because I had so much fish these two whole rows of double chests were nothing but fish and I've traded them down to just these last two chests left which is amazing but it did result in a ton of emeralds, so these are my emerald factory and fish disposal system. And they're all pretty angry with me over the amount of fish that I've been trading on. As you can see, this guy has upped his price quite a bit, but that's fine. I just need to get rid of the fish, because I don't have any need for fish. And this all needs to get torn down and redone. But that's for another time. However, that first little bit of AFKing did result in a ton of blocks from here so we should have what we need at least to get started on the roof of that place and I don't know if we'll get to the roof today I'm hoping to but we will see some other things that I've been busy with is I went to the stronghold and it occurred to me that the only part of the stronghold that I actually need is that portal room so the rest of it is built out of stone bricks, mossy stone bricks, cracked stone bricks. And there's a ton of stone and cobble and copper and other things down in there. So I've relocated my beacon over to there. And I have been busy, busy, busy chopping away, removing that stronghold. You got a bunch of andesite, bunch of stone, and a ton of stone bricks, mossy bricks, cracked bricks cobblestone and then I went found a, uh, a giant taiga and made a mossy and farmed up a ton of mossy cobble and yes I know I can use moss and cobble to make mossy cobble and all these other things but that requires a moss farm which I don't have at the moment so that just seemed the most cost-effective way to do things and what else have, have have I done in between not a whole lot it's been a few have been a couple weeks mostly because of real life stuff I've been I had to relocate my recording setup inside the house from where it was to somewhere new and that took a little bit to figure out and get set up and organized but I think we're okay now so if it sounds a little bit different that's why and I'll be making tweaks if I need to in between but this is where we've left off on our great hole and I really want to get back to work on this get it finished up and ready to go I at least want to get the front and the back on and map out the roof if we don't get all the way done but we do have these two oh, of course of course it's raining it rains so much in this new version of the game I wish I so wish that they would change it back to where sleeping affects how much rain you get in the world but it doesn't now and it just rains constantly but anyway we have these two towers on the front and one on the back and then we have these other things and I kind of have a rough idea and shape in mind for the roof area and everything for this build and yes we are floating and we're the terraforming is gonna be really easy because it's just gonna be a retaining wall around here and then this area is gonna be mostly flat because it's gonna be like a city area and I can't wait until we get the roads built up and you can walk through here and there's going to be buildings all over the place and then you go over to the wall and you go downstairs to the next level where the next bit of the city is at and it's going to be so much fun. One thing I do know for a fact though, just from my experience doing the grinding over at the uh, stronghold, as you can see my, my elytra needs to be repaired. Our XP farm here with the skeletons it works it works nicely but it is just not going to be fast enough long term so one thing i would really like to get built up in this world is an ender ender i think we might do that next episode and go ahead and sleep reset the rain and get this ready to go 
because one thing I would really like to get started on is that building. So let me gather up these shulker boxes. We're going to take them over there and get started. But real quick, I have done one other thing I just remembered. In between episodes, I installed the double shulker shell data pack because finding shulker boxes has been extremely painful. It took me two and a half hours to find our first city when we went out to the end, and I haven't been that lucky since. So I figured if I'm going to spend time out in the end hunting for shulkers, it might as well be worthwhile. And I have found a ton of shulkers because I flew west. I should have just gone. I, I think I even mentioned that in that last episode that I need to go west because that's what everybody says to do. And I should have done that. I also got a bunch of tools, a lot more Elytra, and I found city after city after city. So I think I might remove that data pack because I have more than enough shulker boxes now for quite some time. And now I know which direction to go to find them all in. So I'm going to head over here, get myself all set up to go, and we're just going to start building. I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to get this start started on this. I don't know how far we're gonna get into it, but I really I I want to get I want to get this done. It's been haunting me at night. I've been waking up thinking, oh, I need to finish that building. We're gonna finish this building, so we're gonna get this done, and then we'll figure out what we're gonna do from there. So let's uh, start up our time lapse, build laps, insurance laps. Oh, I don't know. This is getting silly. Let's just get to it. All right, see you guys in a bit. Access granted. farther along than we were before. I don't know why this is taking me so long to be... It's not like it's a difficult thing to do. It's just for some reason I am finding difficulty being motivated to work on it right now. I think I have other... Th There's like two or three other projects that I'd really like to be working on, so this one's like in the way in my head. But we have a roof line. The roof line is on, which makes the rest of this go really fast. So I will be working on that either next episode or between episodes. Probably next episode. For right now, as you can see, we have the roof on. And this is going to be a series of windows along here that's going to shine light down into the interior. And I have a question for you guys, something I want you guys to help me out with. I'm trying to decide between granite and stone brick walls up here along with a couple other things. And it's, I like the granite because it blends in with the stone. I want to put the walls up here just so that I can make this spawn proof. I don't have to worry about things dropping on my head. And then I can use these just for a little ad added extra what, what have you. But the problem is they connect. I didn't realize they connected to the, uh, the walls. So that leaves us with option number two, which is lightning rods. And I like that. The thing I problem I have with lightning rods is they're upside down. I understand their their idea and the thought process behind it, but does it bother anybody else that they're placed upside down looking? Like it would make sense that the fat end goes down like that. That's just visually that looks like how it should go. Just like that. So let me know. What do you think? That or these with either lightning rods or 
that attached and those are attached as well so it kind of does that sort of thing and then as it goes up it keeps keeps moving like that without these being placed wrong that was wrong but anyway you get the point so or I could even put lightning rods on top of these as well which would be I don't know let's have a look let's see how that looks might actually work out better do this little rigmarole so we can get them up here the correct way around just undo you so you don't look so weird kind of like that and I kind of like that because these blend in so let me know in the comments what you think of those things down there and now I want to go have a look at something because I've had this world loaded up for quite some time and there's something that I'm a little bit concerned about and it's been a problem for a little bit and it's our iron farm over here in the spawn chunks I don't have a whole lot of storage space in here so I've been having to come over here pretty often when I'm doing projects to empty out the chests so they don't overflow but I haven't been over here at all in a few days I just want to have a look at how we're doing and that is full and that is filling up okay so this is we're, we definitely need to do something about the storage situation here but we are sitting really good on iron we have a ton here a ton here that's full and I've started a new thing here and I have another double or single chest worth back at the house so that's good too nice okay so between episodes I'm going to be working on figuring out how to finish that up either just do a little bit of work in between or just finish it up so we can move on to something else because I want to get some more of that city started I also need to work on the spider farm that we found down there because I'm gonna need a lot of candles soon and they're gonna be pretty important but we have more than enough uh, wax our bee farm has been working so crazy good as you can see from that is just one of I think four barrels that are full where where are all my barrels that are full of wax you know this one's full that one has some we got wax there we got wax everywhere There's more than enough wax to make candles with I just need string I'm out of string there we go that one's full so lots and lots of wax well, just need lots and lots of string which should be pretty easy with the spider spawner that we found down at the bottom of our skeleton spawner but this video has taken me forever to produce for some reason and I'm sorry about the big delay in that but I think that's probably gonna be we're gonna end it here just so we can get this out you guys can have something to watch and I can get started on the next project that I want to get going so with that said if you guys like what you saw don't forget to leave a like and if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. Till next time, this has been Neely. Bye-bye.